to reset the bracket. My biggest issue, because we only saw it in one first to three, was the drive gauge management. Okay. Because sometimes when he did present himself with a very big opportunity, he was kind of low on drive gauge, which made it easier for Crimson to start resorting to limbs and the heavy ones take off some of the most drive gauge consumption. And then when he's back at full screen, it's like, okay, you're not going to navigate around the fireballs. Look, like you said, he had a brain fart. He done level one. And yeah. we're just like, dude, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was surprising to see. Yeah. So I'm hoping he just doesn't have those kind of brain farts here as well. Yeah. And I don't know what it's going to take to really shake up Mr. Crimson and galvanize him to doing something in a position that's so favorable to him in the grand finals. I mean, the way that Lionheart played in that last match was with uh, incredible control. Yes. Uh, and he, he played that great. So, I don't know, maybe he takes that kind of mentality into this next game, this next match. But it will be tough. Not going to sugarcoat it. As here comes Mr. Crimson trying to qualify for Capcom. Well, it could be a Herculean toss. It could the be. Miss. That was a dive kick timing that we didn't really see before. Okay, so a couple of offensive things that weren't really a big part of the tool set previously. That timing of dive kick. And Hooligan there. Again, outside of the drive gauge management, I'd really like to see how he's really going to like tempt Mr. Crimson into throw tech and as Mr. Crimson does it to him. Is he going to dive kick a bit more in his face? Is he going to implement Hooligan a bit more, which he did in that first interaction as well? I think throw tech might be a key thing to circumvent for both players in this set. Oh, round out to the face. Perfect parry. He's in there with the conversion and a reset again into the overhead. Okay, looks like he might go reset heavy for the first half. We'll see. Well, he finds the hit. He's going to take a round. It's a really good start from Lionheart. Which means Mr. Crimson tries to parry the overhead and he grabs him. He's in trouble. I think he's banking his guy's job. Oh, wow. Air approach again to start things off. Last round was the same way. Okay, so he's probably going the non traditional route first to see what he can do. Oh, there we go. Not too much there. There's no knockdown. That's no. what I'm worried about. No. And just like that, it's Crimson who. Has, oh my god, jump around us. And jump timing again. Lionheart will take the game. Yes. Game one with powerful jumps and dive kicks on his way into the corner. Control, damage, finding his way back in in both rounds, even was Lionheart. I want to say powerful yet fortuitous. I think the cross up light kick was very fortunate. Sure. Um, because even I, I didn't know what side was going to land the two of so. Oh, good work, dude. All right. Hey, this is why we're the backup dancers. He's got the game plan. I mean, plan. of course, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's got the game plan. I also think what's helping him as well is when he perfect carries a heavy. Because when you perfect carry the limb, it limits him for a couple of, uh, a couple of seconds. Yeah. But a couple of minutes. Oh, he's going to jump around this again. Ah, there we go. Almost burnt out is Mr. Crimson. Can he take advantage of that, though? He's trying to get away. Not for long. Burned out even. Chase him. Yeah, no. He, he's free. This is free. Oh, this, this is, is a really free. bad spot here for Crimson. All Stunning. the way to the corner. Stunning. Yes, here it comes. He took the hit. He took the hit again. That means you're not going to get wall splat. But he took so much damage to try to avoid getting wall splat that this one might kill. Spend it. All of it. Spend the level one. And he's going to do level two instead because he said, I'm not taking any chances. And the last hit of the charge cannon or spiral arrow, I should say. Takes that round here, Lionheart. That was like worst case scenario for Crimson. Taking those hits, understandable. It means you're not going to get splat, but then uh, still getting splat. That was most of his life that he lost in that series. Good flame. That's a roundhouse as well. That takes off the most drive. Gage and the, oh, that's still. You know what? That would have been a sick conversion, but shout out to Crimson for keeping his eye open there. Yeah, so we're going to risk it. Almost got the jump roundhouse there, but the back medium punch beat to it. There is an anti here from uh, frame eight, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Game as close to the danger zone as possible here. And he's not going to be overzealous. Just play it safe from this point out. Yeah, not much that Lionheart can do. It's got, be a, it's got to be a lucky jump at this point. Well, well, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. Burned out as well. Oh, oh my no, God, he's done him again. Not again. Oh, he's done. Mate, he's oh, done. David, he's wow. done. <laughs> Going on. He will build a bar. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Lionheart is 2-0 up on Crimson in set one. And the lucky jump came. And in both of those rounds, I mean, it's not just a lucky jump. I don't want to say that that's it. Crimson put himself towards burnout in both of those rounds. Capitalizing hugely after that was Lionheart in the first round. Uh, Lionheart got a lot of extra damage because of how... Uh, defensive choices were made by Mr. Crimson. 
I don't know. I will say the first jump was lucky. The second jump was scripted. Yes. No. I've seen him play uh, Luke. No, no, I just, I, I just, I'm just, am surprised that no. he needs to do it. Is it, all I want to say. It, it, I, it, I've it, seen him have a strong Luke. I know he's played other characters in this game and previously, but to get knocked off the Dalsim, nevertheless, is that must incredible. be. He must have had this idea from when he was waiting because he said like that was a 3-1 but that must have been a close 3-1 so I don't want to like bank on that again and right. he might be very unfamiliar with his Luke style here Lionheart Dude, we just saw Lionheart 3-1 against a top tier Luke player in Kusanagi but um, here's Crimson Damn. somebody forced Crimson's hand right go off the yoga master is this the answer Hopefully, uh, maybe Crimson will join the Ministry of Propaganda. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> nice swoop on him. Yeah, he's there for a while, the whiffs. <laughs> All right, just backs away at the moment here. Dry Rush cancel from the light. I'm not sure if that was a legit frame trap there from the light conversion, but oh. double dash misses his grab because he died a bit too early there. Roundhouse is away with malicious intent. Dude, Lionheart is playing with a purpose. Back in the game. So despite all of that, and honestly, he has played great. He's stuck now. No, not for long. The thing is... Funky Little Series is putting in here, too. But what I like about it, because... And he's going to take the round with a level 3. Yes, he will do so. And he's going to put him a reset point here. So because Luke isn't his main, he's not going to... He's going to be more patient in defensive scenarios. Because it's not Delson. Oh, okay. I know it's a jab. I understand, I'll yeah. So yeah. because it's not the character, I'm not saying he doesn't know what to do with Luke. He's just going to be a bit more... Rigid. Yeah, that is a very common thing to see. Somebody has a backup, they may feel a little bit less confident in some aspects of the game. So she's in, and that didn't punish Kana. Okay, that worked out for you, but Crouch Fist takes it. Lionheart needs another dive kick or a jump, I think. And he doesn't do that instead. He goes for the third just option. Waited out. Yeah. And oh, he you that. got baited, yes. Drive us in. Oh, dude, you could have got Whoa! way more damage. Oh, you had so boy. much time. I'm thinking back to some of the drops that he had in their previous set in Winner's Side. That said, right back into its line. He's going to burn himself out and no super. That's fine. This is so he's going to hope to kill on this. And then that's it. Legitimate string here. And then, yeah. <gasps> Good interruption there from Crimson. Oh, Bro. oh boy. And because if he hits him first, Crimson will recover before uh, yes, Lionheart indeed. does. Okay. That's the recovery. Don't make this obvious. He stunned. He stunned him, mate. Oh, he just he built it. The he time. just built it by Pixels is when he built it, Yo. and Lionheart will actually reset the bracket versus Mr. Crimson. Now, not only knocked him off of Dalsum, but knocked him into I'll losers effectively as well. I think it was episode three. It might have been episode three. I can't remember what episode it was. Kusanagi did that in one of our SFL episodes, and I said. Did you press the button before your case come back? He said, yeah. He said, that's what he said. He said, I, no, just I in case, it. right? Like, it's going to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either you get it and it doesn't matter, or you will have built the drive, and, and there it, it is. And the thing is, the attacker never pays attention to that slither when it recovers just in Woo! time. Jeez. Bracket reset, ladies and gentlemen. Line heart, and he's gone back to Dalsim. Okay. Okay. He didn't like how the Luke went. I think that's understandable. Oh, Submit to what Kilby did with the Kami and the Jury. So I think he's just got to stick with Dalton from this point onwards. And because of the position, Lionheart's in. Oh boy. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. I think we got a good one here. Three out of five. Jumps in Big again. jump timing. Hope to meet him in the sky. Not quite. Jump Fist must cover. Neutral Jump Fist must cover the float angle and the throw tech as well. So I, I think suppose. he's kind of locked into that scenario. Look at there. that. The readiness. Yes, but see some readiness on Crimson's side as well. Pops out the flame for him. He's trying to burn him out here. Mm -hmm. And Lionheart trying to stay away to avoid that. He doesn't want to have to block. He doesn't need to. He's a little pickup. Arch there as well. He's holding it. And he watch out for the grab. Oh, no. Okay. I was in the same wavelength as Lionheart. There's the back reading. Keep taking that round there for Mr. Crimson in the reset here. Oh, boy. Every decision you make is going to be nail biting. I'll tell you that much. There's mm. a yoga lance. Too far for the conversion of the back medium punch, though. Okay, back dashes this time around. I usually see him buff for the crouch fears from that scenario, but oh, he's on the medium punch instead. Yeah, it's interesting to see how he's going to try to change his game plan up. Oh, mm -hmm. Block. Okay. He's and got he's a great punish for that. To be fair, oh. it does move her forward while it being a frame startup, so. Catch him again in the air. Swat him out. Oh, it's huge. He's got the level two now. Yeah, yeah. Get to him. The flame as well. Converge! Oh boy. Yes! 
keeping his eyes open is Mr. Crimson. That might work out for him, though. Yes! Oh! That might work out for him because that's the round. And, oh. That's fine. Reinhardt. I was actually expecting something else, but that actually works out for him incredibly well. Still has the CA stopped. Let's see who gets first blood. Say outside of Dalsum's buttons and then suddenly stab in classic anti Dalsum strategy. He's making it count so beautifully. Not gonna spend it just yet. Slam down the ground. Throw. What's he gonna do to pile on the mental stack? And he's got him. I think he's gonna convert. I think he's gonna do the whole thing. No, he does not. Chooses not to. There's the spin knuckle. There it is. There's one. Got him. Lionheart. In the second set is the first one to take a game. He is leading now for the first time. I think he's dropped the whole time Two these guys have played. away from qualifying for Capcom Cup. Back medium point. There you go. Dive kick. It hits. And luckily he wasn't firmly planting on the ground. So it was only an airborne scenario. Going to get the conversion to Spiral Arrow once again. Pile on the pressure. Last minute drive impact there. And he's going to go for the teleport That's side. That's an amazing well. reaction. Barry denied the offense immediately. Dude, is he playing at hyper speed past the speed limit? No. Yeah, get a bit too uh, passionate there, buddy. The Yogi Inferno for the 30%. He just held it. Oh, that worked! Okay, no, that was. <laughs> oh, that was. What was your idea there? He walked into money. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Some, some aspects of that round there give me a little bit of pause for Lionheart moving forward here. Some slight brain farty decisions. See if Crimson can recover. He's brain farts on both ends, honestly. There you go. It's a quick spin knuckle in there again. Drive reversal. Immediately seeing the green and saying, I am not dealing with that. Takes him down. Almost got him. Beautiful. Yeah, didn't want to burn himself out with the conversion. It's not going to kill either. So gets the back throw here, and this game is looking comfortable. Mr. Crimson. Too far. Too far. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's in big trouble. And you haven't He's got in big trouble. Either. Threaten the stun before you stun him. Threaten it before you do it. Yep. Yeah. Just a little bit more. <gasps> He's mashing. Challenge Mate, to the other side, to the other side. And somehow Crimson comes out of this with the game one-to-one. -one. This is insane. <laughs> I never stream. expected this. No, no, amazing play. That's the safe spot. Sweet spot indeed. Ooh. Okay. Almost burnt out in the process, though. Drive gauge in the amber. That's why he's moving away and being a little bit hesitant. But you're near the corner, so you might be doing Mr. Crimson a huge favor. Until that cannon spike connected. Mmm. Oh, well, interesting little buffer. Almost. Yoga Comet, the angle that Yoga Comet covers is actually pretty good. The Yoga Fire gets out of there. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, that's Crimson keeping his eye on things. Trying it out on offense. What a time Nothing. to jump away. Really? Well. Back Pierce works there. Blocks. And that will be the round for Mr. Crimson. Putting things back in his favor. Even the tide in Dalsim's favor. Trying to go 2 1 on this grand final reset here. That was definitely not catching that roundhouse. He mm -hmm. probably thought it was another limb instead for the knockdown. Yeah. Too far. So we'll take advantage. Go back to stage control. Good trade. Yeah, teleport away again as well. Good parry on the jump fierce as well. But Lionheart is having real difficulty getting back in now. Much different from the previous set. Lots of accidental back throw. We'll take it. A little punish. Here's Lionheart. Crimson has level 3. Ah, and okay, Lionheart did not just move away. I thought he would. Maybe that's why he went in. Crimson, though, was still keeping his eye on it. No hooligan yet either. As soon as he... Oh, okay. Got the hooligan dive kick. Not the grab, though. Gets another grab in there. He just needs a hit. Same thing for Crimson. Crimson escapes. He's going to try it up close. He's got to deal with it. He's got to deal with it. And he does a throw tech instead. No level 3 here for Lionheart either. So he's going to have to... If he does get a clean hit... There it is. He's in there. A reset. Oh, and he, he's out of there. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. He just wants to be nowhere near. Grab, is it enough? Yes. Crimson, two games to one. What does Lionheart do at this point? Has he exhausted all the options? I don't know. It felt like he was playing so fast at the beginning of this set, and it has been slow. Down. You're telling me Dawson installed speed gun or something? It seems like it. <laughs> 
All right, back throw. Ah, okay. Sometimes when you do cycle through your options, if I guess wrong, eventually I'll guess right. We'll land on the same option. Spent driver has had him before, unfortunately. In the process, burned himself out, and that meant that Crimson can make this happen. He will be at match point and tournament point after this. People miss un they underestimate this tool. His drive impact as a footsie tool when you're in burnout is probably one of the strongest tools he actually has. Tool set. What a conversion. That was to go to the side super swap. sick. Yeah, wow. Position. Oh, got him! Hey. Right up both! Only down strong, nothing else! But press. Boy, that could have been huge. Smack point here. Nice delay as well to see what Lionheart does. I think he's run out of steam here, David. It does seem that way. Yeah. Oh, wow! And it still works! I'm not sure what Yoga Flame that was, but... Delays it. Another tick throw there for Mr. Crimson. Crimson looking and in control. I think he that's spends it. it. That's it. He's qualified for the cup. Merciless Yoga is actually going to book his place at Capcom Cup 10 there. Mr. Crimson, your France, Spain, and Portugal CPT champion. What a recovery, can I just say. Yeah. In the first set, he was knocked off of this main character. That's how seriously he understood the threat from Lionheart, and understandably so, because Lionheart was playing great. Reset the bracket, won the first game of that second set, and then in that next game, we even identified it. It's, it felt like there were some of those brain farts coming back again that were a problem for him in their winner's side set. I couldn't tell you exactly why, but it did seem like that was happening. Maybe just the moment. I don't know, the, the stress of the moment. Crimson didn't have that issue. He was the one who capitalized on those mistakes, began slowing the matchup down, had more and more control as it went forward. And as you say, qualifies for Capcom Cup. Again, special shout-outs to Lionheart, oh, man. Yeah. Getting 100%. all the way to Grand Finals, showing you Loved why it. people need to put this man on their radar in terms of one of the cami players to watch, not just in Europe, probably in the whole scene entirely. That last-minute DI, as soon as he recovered and was rejuvenated there for the drive gauge, was absolutely phenomenal. Learned himself out. He had tons of amazing moments. I love the cami play. I am, in general, someone who finds that she's not my cup of tea. But the way that he played was so fleshed out there were so many options you invested. well i mean what i mean is that oftentimes when you see cami play they are very grounded she's the footsies character maybe they'll do dive kicks here and there but it is not this man's bringing out hooligans and his jump timings are amazing and his movement was great and he had some sick conversions even out of some weird float situations from dalsam i just felt like it was a a very interestingly constructed version of cami and yet as we're witnessing here crimson played great kept his wits about him and recovered. Well, here's what the French players have been saying for a long time, right? In grand finals, like, okay, I can probably take one set. Can we do the double? It's incredibly difficult. And again, you give him more time. You forced his hand. I will I will always, this is why I give him a special shout out, give him credit. Yeah. You're one of the few people that actually forced his hand. At yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, you know, just a, a blip in like, you know, the, the thought process is like, okay, maybe, maybe Dalsim's not gonna do it here. I may have to resort to Luke. And as soon as Luke, like, okay. Yeah. Luke got dog. Pocket. Yeah. That was it. But yes, this is what the bracket is looking like overall here. Mr. Crimson qualifies for the cup after a Lionheart Grand Final reset here. Shout outs to all the participants this weekend. More so in this top eight as well. French dominated, and that means we'll have two French players. Brown Master from the World Warrior, and Mr. Crimson from the CPT Premier. I kind of boil it down to you. Lionheart for me is, what happens when you sprint? You exhaust all your energy to run as quickly as possible in the shortest amount of time. Eventually, you run out of breath. That's how. That's kind of how I saw it, right? It was working. And after, like you said, that game one in the reset, I was like, is he gonna? Yeah. Surely. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was with you. <laughs> and it's like, okay, maybe just, maybe just run out of steam. Because he was resorting to the same tactics. Mr. Crimson delayed throw. Okay, there's one jump where I think a Yoga Flame came up by accident, but it didn't say punish kind of this time. Didn't say that. Again, started to like change up the timing with the projectiles, less limbs in certain scenarios. And then as it started to be a bit more panicky for Lionheart, guess what? Mr. Crimson started guessing right on your defensive choices. Yeah, the parry didn't work out, then you didn't, he didn't work out. And it's like, okay, you're cycling through those options. And eventually the attacker will pick the same option you do and win. Oh. So two French players in Capcom Cup, three Dalsim players in Capcom Cup, Garnet and Shaka having previously qualified. Now, Mr. Crimson is there as well. That's not the end of the CPT. It is for today in terms of our matches, but there are more CPT qualifying